out here practicing some heel with Dottie. And Dottie is just super, super keyed into the environment. And so tuned out from the human. So we really want to work on that. And heel is a fantastic way to work on that. Because obviously you're out in the world where there's smells and sights and, and sounds and just all kinds of stuff that grabs their attention. Especially a dog like Dottie. Um, and so this is the best place for her to chip away at all that sort of reflexive, no, heel, um, you know, stimulation. So love heel for that. Good heel. So lots of turns and stops and slowing my pace down, speeding it up. Good. And she's working on a high number. So not uncommon um, when you start doing outside work, especially with dogs that do tend to get overstimulated easily. So she's on a 31 on the mini right now. Good girl. And I've been using food intermittently for these stops. She does a good job, but my hands are full right now. Heel. So I'm going to take a big step to the side here. Good. And I try intentionally not to pull her with the leash. I want to see her follow me on her own. I'm going to turn into her here. Good. If she sniffs the ground or she tries to look behind her. There's stim for that. Turn away. Good girl. Baby steps. Good. Good job. Good. And we actually ran into someone walking their dog down here. That's actually how we started our lesson today. <laughs> so we started it off hard, huh? Heel. So I live on a dead end road. There's only a few of us that live here. But people from the surrounding roads come here to walk their dog because it's quiet. So it's actually becoming increasingly common for us to run into dogs here. Uh, whereas we used to never run into dogs here. And Dottie was definitely pretty fixated on the dog. But I managed to pull her away from that several times and get her refocused on heel. So it was great practice. Good. No. But it's so important in these situations, once your dog understands it, to just listen to them with your e-collar level. So if you don't and you're like, oh, God, you know, she usually works on a five in the house and I'm at an 18. It's like, so what? Watch the dog. Just watch the dog. So, yeah, see, she, she got caught up on something else there. And so I just pushed the button and she ran right over to my leg. So she clearly understands. Um, no, heel. That was for the sniff. She clearly understands the position. So we're getting down to a part of the road now she hasn't been on before. So it's going to get harder understands the position. She understands how to shut off the e-collar pressure. I'm slowing down on purpose. Um, and so once they understand that, you want to use the level that you can clearly see. No. Heel. Motivates them. So that doesn't mean they'll never need any leash help. But you should tell, you should be able to tell um, that they would prefer to shut off the stimulation And that they're trying, I guess, is the key there. If they're not putting in any effort, if they're just totally ignoring it, then you're, you're too low. So every time she sniffs, I'm tapping. Good. I'm going to go a little faster now. So I like to mix it up. Faster is usually easier for dogs. Slow is hard. So do a little of both. If you have a dog, you need to slow them down. Slow down their brain. Do slow healing, and that is Dottie, <laughs> for sure. So, but we'll mix in some easy stuff, right? Fast-paced. Good. So I'm stop here. Good, good. Good girl. Those ears. <laughs>